is pressuring the axe and OTZ at least breaks even mid lane. There's no real... I guess FNG and the Night Stalker could pose some pressure onto RTZ. Yeah, the top rune here, but he's not going to be able to go in for the rune with that. Billboard. And Kuro actually going in on him. He has got... It does hit night time, so he gets a bit of a movement speed burst. But the Queen of Pain rotation. There you First go. Blood, S4. Blood. The power of the boar. That's... Death of... Ring of Aklo and Arteezy at top. Looks like he wants to be able to pressure this tier 1 tower as much as possible. Since the Axe is just going to ditch the off lane. And... Bottom, Zai finding himself in a world of hurt. Nice rotation from FNG. Line will come down. Kuro needs to be a little careful here. There's a lot of heroes here. Sonic Wave from S4 connects on 3. Finds the kill onto Illidan. It's a 1 for 2 so far, but they hasted up S4. Yes, for 50%. Aces Polar do have some really good vision here. They see all of Secret. They've got a lot of wards down. They even put down a sentry to the further their mission for vision really control. Good, Roche getting very low. Down below 10%. They'll initiate on the puppy. Who's going to get the Aegis? It's the Shadow Fiend. Zai goes down first, but a huge sonic wave from S4. RTZ may fall. No, he's still alive. It's a one for one. A lot of Aces Polar heroes trying to limp away. S4 in hot pursuit. Bouncy Glaives. They've got some options. Bulk, though, from Secret. And Roche up. They see it with the Hawk. I'm not sure if they'll go straight in or that. They may look for the pickoff and then go into Roche. And Lil on the high ground. Gouts out one. All right, Darkness is used. This is Radiant Vision we're looking at. They'll get jumped okay. on here. And oh, Sedoi. He'll go down quick. Sonic Wave even deployed to make it happen. Now your Eclipse. It gets in. Or, well, it doesn't get interrupted. The Death War gets interrupted. But Aces Pole are just falling over, dropping like flies. Illidan, he just has to turn tail and try to run. BKB expires. TP won't happen. It's a four for nil. And Secret say, forget about Roche. Let's go for the bait. Korea, but won't be here for this mid Rax. But this mid Rax has no glyph. This may just go down like Contested. Yep, FNG is around the back side. He's just now used the darkness to the right angle to initiate. Long range zip from G. Say goodnight to your mana pool. Can this push be dealt with? That's the real question. No darkness, but at least they have the Eclipse now as well as the Death Ward. Secret have all of their ultis available, just slow sieging. Look at this split though, they're all spread about. No easy target. S4 BKB is right away as G zips in. Now say goodbye to your mana pool. He's forced to walk back to the well. That did very little to delay the push. Tower's down. If they want to hold barracks, they've got to go in soon. There's some creeps down. Illidan really doesn't want to ult here if he can get around it, but they have to do something. Two lanes of barracks is absolutely crippling. Lil with the ultimate out. It brings down S4. Now Illidan presses out of the base. It'll do a lot with its eclipse. Finds the kill on. G. That's Arteezy that does. He'll go down. Zai, he may be weak, but he's strong enough to survive against four. Requiem from Arteezy as he comes back up. Zai still alive. Made the space Arteezy needed. Now he's hurling snowball. Illidan, he's slowed down. He'll try to limp back to the well. Slam Dunk comes out onto the bristleback, but still a pretty good fight for Secret. They'll try to mitigate their losses as Storm they leave. Back. They're going to oh, get the hell out. Oh, Kuro, he's going to be punished. The long range zip in. He's out of mana. No! Boom. Stick charges. No okay. KB out on Arteezy now, and also the Beastmaster Puppy. He gets his level three Necro book. Oh, Another smoke smokes. from Secret. Here we go. This. They'll find them on the high ground, but Sadoi jumps in, initiates onto S4. Now G comes cruising in as well. Oh, Illidan on the high ground. With a BKB. Dead. Oh, that's the end of G. Now Sadoi, he falls also. Aces Polar in dire straits. Two buybacks available on the three dead, but Luna stuck in the grave for the next 60 seconds. Huge place from Kuro. Getting that immediate blink hex on G. They thought they had S4 with that blink call, but G got locked down and Aces bottom lane of Rax is a glip up now. The melee Rax skin can be glip. I don't even know if it's, it's probably not even worth glipping this. It's dead regardless. This could be the GG push here. Will they burn the buybacks? I feel like Aces Polar have to. Maybe yeah. Storm can wait it out, but they've got to do. They try to wait this out for the Luna. Her ultimate just now cooled down. Replacing safe. I'll back it up. Oh, oh, or will they? Sadoi, he catches one. Is this the right play though? G goes zipping out real far. Death Ward's been deployed. G, he's now out of mana. He's going to try to TP out. Oh, mama. That was ambitious. He's got to buy back here, but that's something Secret will jump to force out. They. Maybe expecting him not to buy back because he wasn't using it, but once they find it coming into play, they'll just back off and play things safe. Why did he do that? That Okay, we'll hold that thought though. Sadoi jumps back in. This time they've got the Eclipse. Big damage out on the Secret. Shadow Fiend and Lion will be the first to go down. They'll lose their axe, but well worth it. Now G jumps onto S4. And finally, Aces Polar make the hold that they needed, repelling Secret and getting a huge net worth gain out of it. They'll also track down Zai. The only one that lives is Puppy here on the Beastmaster. What a fight. Okay. And Roche begins.
nighttime when the darkness wears off, do you know? Or we'll find out. Uh, if it becomes no, daytime, it's daytime. Oh, you can this see is, the little sun right there. This is worrying. This is bad for, for a bowler. Yeah. G may get caught out too. Oh no. Oh, they find him. Oh, he's definitely dead. Silenced, hexed. No buyback for you. Forget about Roche. I think Seeger can just steam roll their way through now. S4. Huge Sonic Wave connects on all four remaining members of the Radiant side. Brings down the Witch Doctor first. No Death Ward there. It'll be a last ditch effort from it. Illidan Storm Range, but a clean five for nil. Secret doing it in style as they march to victory through that mid lane. Tier 4 towers fall, and the GG is called. Congratulations are in order to Team Secret. An intense five game series. Aces Polar put up one hell of a fight showing everyone that they are absolutely worthy of being contenders here in the winner bracket finals but in the end they just couldn't do it we'll be seeing team secret here in la for well for, for some of the players their third time we've seen puppy and kuro here at both the summit one and mm -hmm. the summit two and we'll see them for a third time come in may it's a fantastic